at Facebook, Merry Christmas. This is Beatrice, and I just wanted to say a Christmas blessing for those of us who may meet. Sometimes we can't really acknowledge that we're having some difficult issues today because today is supposed to be a happy day. But for some of us, it isn't a happy day. So I want to pray with those of us who really need a prayer today. Ready? Let's bow hands. Holy Father, we come before you right now knowing that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. You say wherever two or three are gathered together, that you are in the midst. And so we invite you right now to come into our hearts, come into our lives, come into our circumstances. You know things so much better than we do. You know the number of hairs that are on the top of our heads. We don't know that. But we ask that you will help us to get past whatever it is that we're facing, whether it's financial, relationship, health-wise, whether we're struggling with some addiction, whether we have serious relationship issues, whether we're struggling with unforgiveness of past events with family members or friends. We ask that you will just help us right now, Lord. Hold our hands. Give us the peace that passes all understanding. Help us to know that just as you have forgiven us, that we are to forgive others as well. Forgiveness does not mean that we overlook bad behavior or that we even condone it. What it means is that we're no longer trying to get back at somebody for something that they did to us, that we release that burden and we let it go. We can hold people accountable and we can set boundaries by saying, I will not accept your behavior or I will not accept being spoken to in that manner. We can correct people and let them know that their behavior or their words are not tolerable to us. But we don't have to fight. We don't have to cuss somebody out. And we don't have to hit people to make our point. We can simply walk away and let God do it. Because when God does it, He does it in a way that no human being can ever do it. So, I invite you to get to know Jesus if you don't already know Him as your personal Lord and Savior. And invite Him to come into your life by saying this prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I invite you, Jesus, to come into my life. I invite you to be Lord of my life, Savior of my life. I invite you to help me to live a life that is so pleasing unto you. I can't do it on my own. So I need your help. I need your help to cleanse me of all of my unrighteousness. Past, present, and future. You died on the cross to save me. And so I am giving my heart and my mind and my body and my spirit back to you. Use me as you see fit, O oh God. I pray that your light and your life will be glorified through me. Help me to be a reflection of all that is good in the kingdom of God. I give you thanks and I give you praise. Amen. Merry Christmas. And look, don't let's not take the Christ out of Christmas. No Xmas, no all that other stuff. Let's leave Christ in Christmas. And remember that it's not always about the gift that you buy in the store. We are gifts. When you love somebody, when you smile at somebody, when you say a pleasant word to someone, when you do a good deed for someone without being asked to, when you're a loving and kind person, you're being a Christ-like person.